Photographer's blog. Photographer's blog. Analysis and opinion home. Follow photographer's blog. Portraits of Olympic preparation. Lucas Jackson. October 4, 2013-2324 UDC. Olympics Vertical Line Photography Vertical Line Portraits Vertical Line Sochi Vertical Line Studio Vertical Line Team USA Vertical Line Technical Details Park City, Utah By Lucas Jackson It's that time of year again. All around us the leaves are changing, the air is getting crisp, and while most of us are enjoying one of the nicest times of the year around the world, Thousands of world-class athletes are entering the final phases of their training to compete in the Sochi 2014 Winter Olympics. Gallery, Team USA This past week I was assigned for the second time in as many years to take portraits of more than a hundred members of the U.S. Olympic team before they finish their training and head to the Olympics. These media weeks organized by the U.S. Olympic Committee are an amazing opportunity for media outlets from all over the country to sit down interview and photograph our athletes with little disruption to their training schedules or personal lives before one of the biggest events of their athletic careers. For the photographers it is a whirlwind three days where we spend anywhere from 30 seconds to 5 minutes trying to capture a portrait of every athlete who attends. In 2012 at the Summer Olympic Media Summit in Dallas, Texas I thought of a series I wanted to work on during my last day photographing. Luckily, I able to expand upon that idea this trip. In Dallas I began asking the athletes to stretch as they would before a competition or training session, to think or visualize as they would prior to performing. Instantly I noticed their faces changed and the look of focus that got them to this point took over their expression. At this point I asked the athletes to ignore me for a few minutes so that I could photograph moments that to each athlete was as routine as sleeping and eating, but to me were honest moments that I was not directing. It was this concept I decided to work with going into this year's portrait session. I decided that for the entire summit I would ask each athlete to imagine that they were minutes from competing in their sport and to try and enter the mental headspace that they do just before they go out onto the ice or hurdle themselves down the mountain. For a number of athletes I asked them to put their gear on in the same order they would for a competition and then to envision the run or going out on the ice. By doing this I was able to capture personal routines and small rituals that managed to capture a tiny slice of the focus that these athletes have demonstrated to get to this point. For me, these portraits achieve a level of honesty that can be difficult to capture and it is exciting to have done so successfully. With this idea in place I also knew that in order to highlight their physique or their equipment I needed a relatively simple setup. It started with a great seamless backdrop shoehorned into a small curtained off space in a room with six other photographers and their respective mini studios. I then set up one pro photo acute to R2400 pack with two heads and medium strip soft boxes on each side of the studio at a relatively lower setting to highlight the athlete's profile and add depth to the images. Continue reading. Becoming a published news photographer. Jim Dog. October 4, 2013-2324 UDC. Capitol Hill Vertical Line DC Vertical Line News Photography Vertical Line Washington Washington DC by Jim Dog When reports of shots fired came in from multiple locations on Washington's Capitol Hill on October 3rd I dispatched writers Washington photographers in force with four staff photographers and two contract photographers racing towards the scene within minutes of the shots being fired Early on it was unclear how big the incident was and whether the Capitol was in fact under attack and we were taking no chances if this might become a huge world news event. But in this day of ever-present camera phones, and with so many members of the public carrying cameras, unless a news photographer is lucky enough to be right on the scene when spot news happens, there is always someone else who was there shooting pictures first. Staff photographer Larry Downing was one of the first writers photographers on the scene at the Capitol Hill shooting. While Larry was shooting pictures, and as I remotely edited his pictures from the Reuters Washington Bureau over a cellular data card connected to his laptop, a young freelance photographer named Alexander Morozon walked up and started asking questions, expressing his interest in becoming a professional news photographer. Larry responded to him by saying the only way you could become a professional photographer today is if you have a picture of a body or a helicopter over the Capitol Dome. Do you have that? Continue reading. The Samurai and Survivors of Fukushima. Demir Zagal J. October 3, 2013 